how's it going? Yo, how's it going? Fellow YouTubers of the internet, I, your favorite upcoming YouTuber, Cyber, and today, let's talk about E3 2019, because, uh, why not? I know that there are a ton of videos of people talking about E3 2019, most of them created by your favorite YouTubers. Well, except me, of course. So today, I'm going to be talking about E3 2019. I'm going to talk about some things that I loved about it, some things that I hate about it. It's a Star Wars game, and Star Wars games in the past have allowed us to go light or dark. Is that a choice here? No. Okay, well. <laughs> Why not? Because. <laughs> <laughs> and the overall feeling of what I felt after watching E3 2019. Because I'm not, I'm not paying a thousand dollars to go there, like just to watch some conferences or some game. I can't, I can't do that. To start off E3 2019, EA Play decided to show us some content of the new Star Wars game, or as I like to call it, Dark Star Wars: The New Order Unleashed and Knuckles. To tell you the truth, I am a big fan of Star Wars. Like, I love the first trilogy. I love the second whole Louis Skywalker thing going on but uh the new movies are back in the day Star Wars used to be one of the most lovable movies out there and for them to start off talking about the new Star Wars game I was actually kind of hyped the gameplay is amazing it's beautiful it feels like Dark Souls I'm going to be honest with you I never played Dark Souls but if I was to start playing Dark Souls I feel like I'll commit suicide. I feel like in order to get that pure Dark Souls experience from Star Wars Fallen Order, I feel like you should play in the hardest difficulty because why not? It looks like a Star Wars Dark Souls. So why not play it as one? Plus I got Ford as Riddicker of the game, so uh, yeah, I'm playing it. You playing it? I'm playing it. You should all play it. It's Forrest Whitaker. You know that game's gonna be good if they have Forrest Whitaker. The next thing that EA Play showed us for 2019 was some new content for Apex Legends. Now, I still play Apex Legends. I don't know about you. I don't know if you even play Apex Legends or even know what it is, but it's a very fun battle royale game. Not gonna lie, this game has the potential to beat Fortnite, but considering the fact that it's EA, it's, it's not going to happen. It's really not. But yeah, Apex Legends, very fun game. You should play it. And to be honest, that's that's kind of it. Like, that's all EA Play really showed us. I know they had like Battlefield 5 and Sims 4 and uh, FIFA 2019 or whatever. But uh, on the next day of E3 2019, Microsoft decided to show us some new content of the upcoming game Cyberpunk 2077 or 277 or whatever. And let me tell you, this game might be the best game of 2020. The reason I say this is because of one reason. As a matter of fact, one person. Wake the f up, samurai. We have a city to burn. Microsoft showed a couple of indie games, like a lot of indie games. Some of them look fun, some of them just look like a... Why? Then Microsoft decided to show up one of the most underrated games that I've ever played, and that's Psychonauts 2. Psychonauts 1 was a very fun game. And like I said, it's very underrated. Like, you just don't know. You just don't know. I love the first game, and considering the fact that Psychonauts 2 is coming out, and the graphics... <laughs> I promise you, if I'm going to enjoy this game, you're going to enjoy this game. Do you guys like Dragon Ball Z? Nope. Uh, who said that? Nah, 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 nah. Everybody should love Dragon Ball Z. 
I mean, I don't even care if you don't watch the show. You should find Dragon Ball Z interesting. The reason I ask if you like Dragon Ball Z is because they are releasing a new Dragon Ball Z game called Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Which is basically a retelling of Goku's story in the Dragon Ball Z series. For the 48th time. Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love Dragon Ball Z, but they keep making games of the same thing. Like, I love the game. It looks beautiful. I'm not gonna lie. We've been playing the same story. Instead of being Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, how about Dragon Ball GT Kakarot or Dragon Ball Super Kakarot? Because those are different games. Those are different stories, you know? Like, I'm tired of fighting Frieza, dog. Give me, give me baby Vegeta, man. Give me baby Vegeta. Let me fight baby Vegeta. I'm tired of Frieza, man. I'm tired. I'm tired. And then they decided to show a trailer of Gears 5. Which I'm not going to lie. It's interesting. It's interesting. We didn't really see any gameplay like that, but uh yeah. Gears 5 looks cool, looks interesting. It had a weird trailer though. The trailer was weird. Like weird weird. Like what even what what am I looking at? Before closing out the Microsoft conference, Microsoft decided to talk about their new Xbox, which is titled Project Scarlet for now, but it's probably gonna be called Xbox 2 or some shit. And along with this, they talked about releasing the new Halo game along with the new console. They just basically talked about stuff and uh, yeah, just, just have a good time, you know, just have a good time. Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the f <laughs> No 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 <laughs> Okay what what coffers was snaps? Oh yeah But that's the I honestly don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I love Bethesda. They are a cool company. They have a cool spokesperson. Cool person. Cool guy. But, uh, yeah. Just, if you guys want to know how I feel about Bethesda's E3 2019 conference, then, uh, just look at Afro's video. I mean, I don't know him personally, but, yeah, just, just watch his video. Listen to this crowd. Listen to this crowd, bro. None of these niggas play games! And after that, we had Devolver Digital and PC Gaming Show. Don't really care about them, so uh, let's move on. Next up, we had Ubisoft. Now, I love Ubisoft. I have like a ton of games from Ubisoft, such as Rainbow Six Siege, Tom Clancy Wildlands, and I played a little bit of the Division 2 beta. But most importantly, I love Watch Dogs. Now, I know people hate on Watch Dogs and stuff, but come on, man. I, I love it. I love the concept. I just really love the Watch Dogs series. However, this new game, Watch Dogs Legion, it's not it, Chief. I don't feel it. It's, I don't feel the spark. It's probably because it's not revolving around Marcus from Watch Dogs 2. But, um, I don't. I don't know, man. And then after that, they talked about Ghost Recon Breakpoint, which is basically Wildlands, but uh, realistic, I guess you can say. You can do some shit, like you can carry bodies and stuff and heal injured teammates and stuff. Like, it's fun. I wouldn't mind playing it. I had, I had a fun time playing Wildlands when it came out. My friends plan on buying this game, then uh, yeah, I will, I will buy it. Why not? And the last thing I would like to talk about when it comes to the Ubisoft E3 conference was the new game of uh, Rainbow Six Quarantine, which is, it's weird. It's something, it's something. I'm not gonna say it's weird. I'm just gonna say it's something. I just need more details about what's going on because it looks something. It's, I don't know, it's weird. It's weird. It's weirder than Gears 5. Like, come on. Now it's time for Square Enix, one of the most amazing companies out there. First thing I like to talk about when it comes to Square Enix conference is 
Final Fantasy VII Remake. I'm not gonna lie, I never played the original, and uh, you could hate me for saying that. I originally bought the original Final Fantasy VII game on my Nintendo Switch. And I played a little bit of it, but I don't know. I just need to keep playing the game so I can feel the hype, you know? The next thing I'd like to talk about is Avengers. <sighs> I'm not gonna hate on this game. It's just the fact that people are hating on the characters, like, the characters don't look like the real Avengers. In my opinion, that's just... Why? It's Avengers. Like, I don't even, I don't care how they look. All I care about is that I could hit niggas with my fucking door hammer. Like, I don't know. All I care about is eating niggas with Hulk. Like, I don't know, man. People are just hating on this game because of how the characters look. And I understand, I mean, I understand because Mr. Stark doesn't look like Mr. Stark, but I don't know. The game is still interesting, it looks fun. I'm still going to play it, but I just feel like people should respect the game, considering the fact that at least y'all got an Avengers game, you know? Uh, yeah. Don't, don't hate on me. Don't hate this channel. Please don't dislike. I love Skirt units. Love them. But who I love more is the OG, triple OG right here. My boy Mario. The one who saved the E3 in the end. The one who was like, <laughs> Yo, show off that stuff, that's funny. Wait till you see what we got. The Nintendo E3 conference was the best conference of E3 2019. And I love it. They showed us so much things. They were just like, hey, we going forward with this and we're just going to get all out. We're just going to get everything out, y'all. Just let y'all know what's going on. And if you like it, I don't care. We still releasing it. Like we got new content of uh, Luigi's Mansion, the new one which I wouldn't mind playing. Like I love Luigi's Mansion. Had um more gameplay of the Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening, which I actually never played. I never played the original. I should play that. So much to talk about, but I just want to get the simple stuff out. But the way that Nintendo finished E3 off. And even after showing off Banjo Kazooie for Smash, decided to hit us with the Hey, you know what? You making the sequel to Breath of the Wild? You can't hate on Nintendo, man. You cannot hate on Nintendo. I need about 350. And uh, there you have it. That's um, E3 2019 for you guys. And to give my overall opinion of E3 2019, I guess I would say. It was trash. It's that for Nintendo. It's that for Nintendo. My fuck! Oh my fucking god! That's all we needed! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's happening! Baby girl, you back in the game!